Hi guys, it's Emily from Ozidet Preka here, back with another video for you all. So you guys saw my before school routine video and you seem to like that. And that finished as I was leaving to go to the school run. It's a different day, but I thought I'd show you what I do when I get back from the school run and we'll see how it goes from there. Don't forget, if you like this kind of content, to like, comment, subscribe, click the little notification bell to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm Emily and I post mum life, frugal living, saving money, recipes, all the good stuff. So just be sure to hang around for that and I'll see you guys later in the video. All right, guys, I know how much you guys love real life stuff. So here it is. You're going to see my mess of a laundry. We cleaned the garage on the weekend, although it was a bit of a rushed half an hour on a Sunday thing, so it's not complete yet. So, But it's kind of got some rhyme and reason. But um, that meant some of the stuff from the garage kind of moved into my laundry um, before it can go out to the bin. And also my washing machine died. It aired out, uh, it made some big clanking noise. Um, I don't feel comfortable running it while it's doing this clanking. Um, and it's just in warranty, so I'm going to get somebody out to fix it. But in the meantime, I have no washing machine and it's a mess. So here you go. So we have mats because obviously there's water everywhere so there's wet towels all around there which you can't wash and there are mats been thrown out of the way and blankets and drying racks that got knocked over and stuff that was meant to go in our dump run on Sunday but then we didn't have time for the dump run so it's just sitting here and yeah absolute mess but this is real life and I have no washing machine. So one of the things I need to do today is go through my clean clothes, sort them, put everything away, see what I have, see what I'm missing, and then make some piles to take to the laundromat. And then I'm gonna bring them back and wash them in my dryer probably, unless I, unless it's quicker just to throw the whole thing in the dryer and at the giant dryer at the laundromat. I don't know, I've never been to a laundromat, so we'll see. So here's what my kitchen and lounge room looks like right now play area is an absolute mess the couch isn't too bad coffee table is covered in stuff it's toys my floors need mopping but my washing machine is dead and i need to wash the mop pads so i'm gonna have to do that by hand and it's just not no i'm just not happening I've got dishes that need to be put away. I have dishes that need to, I that were half empty or empty in the fridge that need to be washed there. I have dirty dishes stacked up because yes, my dishwasher is still not working. Yes, it's been seven months, I know. And now my dry washing machine's not working. So yeah, I have dirty dishes, uh, clean dishes to put away. I've just fed the baby. Feeding the baby takes about 30 minutes when we get home from school run. I feed him and then it takes between 10 and 20 minutes to get out of the bed without waking him. Um, so now I have to eat something and have a second cup of tea because my blood pressure is not good at the moment. So I need to eat. So I've got some gluten-free crackers, which are four dollars a box, I know and half a camembert cheese that I'm gonna eat nice and quick and a cup of tea. So I'm gonna sit and do that and uh, either watch something, probably watch something because I'm not feeling too great. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna do some cleaning and make some content for you guys. All right, so Mr. is awake, uh, changed his bum, and quickly picked up a few things off the floor so that he can scoot around, like the chairs. They have to go up on the counter while he's in the walker, or he pulls them over on himself. But I didn't get much done. I quickly did a 15-minute speed clean, which I thought I recorded, but I must have paused it instead of hitting play, so that's a whole thing. And I did a load of washing up. I still have all of that to get through. <laughs> One of those is just full of bottles in soapy water. But I still have all that to get through. 
I still need to like clean the coffee table. I'm avoiding the play area because I've asked the kids to do it and I'm trying to hold firm on that, but we'll see. I need to vacuum the floor and then I'm going to hand scrub the floor since I don't have my steam mop. And I've closed off all the doors up here so he can't get into anything, but I need to vacuum and mop up there. And once that load of washing up is dry, do another load there, hang out with my buddy, clean his high chair, get his lunch ready. I wanted to do some meal prep, but I don't know if I'm gonna get that done today. And then I need to go and do some actual work. So create some content and plan some stuff, edit some videos, all that fun jazz. All right, I hand scrubbed the entire kitchen floor, which was, Hard work, <laughs> it's drying now. Now for the lounge room, I think I'm just going to spot clean any bits like this that are like really on there um, and scrub those. And then I might just pour on some of my pine sole solution and wipe it all over with a towel because I'm not scrubbing the whole thing on <laughs> my hands and knees. I might scrub the grout, not the grout, the, um, Silicon, I've got silicon connections, as you can see. Silicon, silicon. So I might scrub that, but the rest I'm just gonna wipe over. <laughs> For the playroom area, I have not conceded, but I have come to a compromise. I've swept all the mess into one corner, so it's not moving out into the rest of my lounge room, and the kids can pick that up when they get home. I refuse to give in because if I give in, they're just gonna do it over and over again. I'm trying to set some boundaries. And it is little fat boys tummy time. I've got a doona without the cover on it because otherwise it just bunches up all on the ground. I've got his toys spread out so that he can crawl for whatever he wants or work on crawling. He's almost there. And now he's gonna hang out and do that while I deal with that half of the room, or more likely sit down, have another cup of tea, and, oh, there he goes, have another cup of tea, and get some work done, and I might leave the rest until tomorrow. It's really hard work without a steam mop, without a washing machine, or a dishwasher, so I'm gonna give myself a little grace. So I've made a quick baked risotto with some corn kernels, some bacon, and some sweet potato, uh, a rice, salt, pepper, garlic, onion, and some chicken stock cubes, just the 7S chicken stock cubes. Then I'm gonna add some pesto, some parmesan, and some baby spinach leaves and a squirt of lemon juice, and I'm gonna box this up for some quick and easy lunches this week. And here it is all mixed up. I only had a little bit of pesto left, so I've mixed that through as best I can, and it'll be a nice little fresh herby moment. And I accidentally cooked the Risotto a little longer than I intended because I was putting the baby to sleep and I was nap trapped. But I'm kind of super excited about that because it's got this lovely, perfect golden brown, crispy bits, which will be great, full of flavor. And I used a good shake of Parmesan cheese over that. I might add some 
shredded tasty cheese if I feel like it needs it and some salt and some pepper but here's going to be some of my lunches this week all right so I think it does need some more cheese but before I do that I've decided to just add a little butter to see if that helps with the moisture and the fat content a little bit and then I may not need cheese and I've also chopped up a little bit of shallots over the top mix that through and we'll taste it again and maybe some more salt and pepper see how it is and see if I need to go into my cheese stash and add some more cheese so because I cooked it I'm gonna have some now for lunch and I've put up four large servings in takeaway containers for lunch this week which I can have if I run out of time and don't have time to cook to make sure I have something semi-healthy and I eat, which is a problem for me. And also Harvey can just grab one in the morning and take to work. He's also got some curried sausages that I've frozen in the freezer that he can take. So he can just decide what he wants for lunch that day. All right, so it's gonna be time to pick up the kids from school soon. So I'm preparing their afternoon tea. We have two oranges and some a large capsicum cut up and then they have tv snacks they're going to do a chore for me and then they can have this they have to finish the fruit first and the baby cucumbers before they get to have their tv snacks all right guys it's the next day but thank you so much for watching don't forget if you like this kind of content to like comment subscribe click the little notification bell to be notified when i post new videos and i will catch you in the next one